Okay, so now we gonna do uh, one of our appetizer. This also can be used as a side dish. Okay. But we normal uh, as you say now, you know, time for you know young chef the experience with this different things become something else. You know. Okay. So this is actually traditionally is for side dish, but we use it as appetizer now or okay. apas kind of. So we're gonna have a uh, potato cutlet stuffed with uh, beef, and we have a uh, crispy beef on top with of course sambal. Yang kedua saya sharing ini untuk Chef Mangko juga bisa lihat adalah perkedel kentang dengan uh, crispy potato balado yang pedas. <laughs> so let's start cooking now. I'm gonna peel this one off, and uh, could you please help me with the uh, thin slice of this? This one? Okay. Yeah, just shred it, thin slice. Yeah, and a little bit leaf from here. Okay. Uh, like this much. Okay. Yeah. You know, the Indonesian, they, they, they definitely using a uh, lot of uh, shallot, garlic, chili, right? Yes. You, you notice about that? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, use a lot of chili yeah. and also fresh. Yes. So this dish before was a side dish. Side dish. Side dish of of uh, of mangos. We're using uh, like nasi campur, okay. something like that. You understand? Uh, another month staying here. <laughs> Sebetulnya sih, makan deh ya. Bisa fine? Ya, should be fine. Ya, I think sih enough. Fine like that, ya. Oke, fantastic. See, now, next we gonna fry the potatoes. We're gonna smash the potato. Okay. Uh, we, but we, we're not gonna boil it or steam it, but we're gonna fry it. Okay. Yeah. So this is all fried. Okay, chef. Now uh, we move on to uh, preparing the, the the salsa. Okay. You know, Indonesian salsa, which is sambal. <laughs> yes. Okay, and then we're gonna make uh, some. Uh, so we're gonna saute this one. This is a corned beef. We make it a bit spicy, and we have a sambal on top of the, the dish. This one needs to be sauteed with okay. the beef. So I'm gonna give it to you. You're okay. gonna saute this one, eh? Together with the beef. Together with the beef. Here we go. Yeah, thank you. So I'll prepare the sambal, yeah? Sure.
We're gonna put pepper, some coriander, okay. dry coriander. Okay. Cili, garlic, terus ada seledri, terus juga ada nutmeg, jadi aromanya itu benar-benar kuat. Perfect. Oke. Okay. So, it's okay. Let it cold, then we're gonna have the potato strain. Okay, then uh, we need to saute all the paste. Okay. Saute garlic. Yeah. I can bring that. Yeah. Sure. One tomatoes. So normally we use uh, we use our uh, different anchovy. Okay. It's the same as anchovy, okay. but a little bit more uh, more salty, more salty and smaller, you know. But under oil or just dry? Uh, with the oil, also. yeah, because we fry first and everything for the. So I'm gonna mess this potato. Some celery inside. Yes. Some uh, mix. Yes. More flavor. More flavor. And of course salt. We have the garlic chips. So very strong. Yeah, I like the also the. Yeah. Sometimes I use uh, roasted garlic. Roasted garlic yeah. too, yeah, can, can, can. Even better. Yeah. Oh, we have the chili now? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Uh, we remove the... Uh, yeah. We remove the... This is a um, curry. Curry lime. Oh, heavy line. Heavy line, yeah. It's like a, from a lime a tree. So it retain the aroma? More aroma. Yeah. Okay. Okay, set. This is our traditional, you know, we get influence from the Dutch when they when they fence uh, in the yeah, They eat a lot of potato there. Exactly. <laughs> so this is what happened. We're gonna make a small like 50 or you know? Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna stop with I'm just adding mozzarella inside and this one. Nasty and yummy, Sam. Exactly. So when you bite, you, 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 can, you can try to feel it. Sure. A lot of uh, garlic sensation. Wow. Yeah. It's a complex, and you have the beef.
So we have a this one as as a topping. Okay. This one a slow cook with a salad, garlic, normally candle nut, rich of seasoning. This is gonna be a topping for that with this one. Yep. So this one already boil like slowly like eight hours. Yes, yes. yes. Exactly. Then we have a slicer that we can slice like this. There is two way. Sumatra they cut like this, you know. Okay. So against the line is uh, Javanese. This is the other way. This is the other way. Okay, then we're gonna fry. We don't want to taste the flour, mm -hmm. so, so just uh, yeah. nicely cut. Very thin. So it's almost ready. You can see the, the color, the texture. Yes, yes, yes. It's more bright. Yeah. It's ready? Yes. So we set it aside. Fit. Uh, Sexy chef. <laughs> Crispy and sexy. Crispy and sexy, okay. Now uh, we're gonna put the eggs and uh, potato. Yep. I know this is not really a healthy option, but this is good enough. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah, so we put extra eggs so because we need to have a texture also attached on the egg, uh, on both. It's like a tempura. Tempura croquette. Yeah. So normally we do croquette, potato croquette. Uh, just uh, with potato and some ingredients, but this way was uh, filled with something, with uh, beef and some other herbs. If it is not hot enough, the cheese and the beef will not mix, you know. Okay, this is sexy already. Yeah. Now, uh, potato ready, sambal ready, we gonna plate up now. Just a little bit more sambal on top of the beef. Parmesan cheese won't hurt. And olive oil. So Italian touch. Italian touch because I'm in Italy and you can know. Parkadel daging keju dengan sambal. Ready to serve now. Please, chef. Please, please. Okay. Uh, see? 
We have a cheesy. Wow. Very Italian. Very Italian. <laughs> <laughs> See? Very nice, very not too spicy, but many uh, spices and uh, flavors, so it was nice. Then you, you really need to have some sambal into it, more spicy. Mm. Yeah, we For have me now. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I like cheese, I like parmesan cheese. I put cheese everywhere, so here we go. <laughs> Abis ini kita akan belajar bikin risotto sama Chef Franco. Stay tuned di Chef Tabernet.